Microsoft Sway gives you or students the ability to make a wide range of content, such as reports, presentations, newsletters and stories with minimal effort. There are four main ways to create in the Sway. However, stay until the end for a bonus feature which could save you a lot of time. The first method is to use the Create New option. Once you have opened Microsoft Sway in the web browser, or from the Windows 10 app, you will see the Create New option on the home page. Clicking on this option will mean you will need to customise all the content on the Sway, from the content cards with text, to the embedding of videos or images. This will give you or your students the freedom to be creative and present the Sway in any way that you would like. The second option is to let Sway create the project for you, if you provide a topic. Sway will then create an outline for the Sway using public data sources such as Wikipedia. It will create the text and add media such as images to the project automatically. You can then edit the content and customise the design of the project. This is useful for research tasks or a project which needs to be completed in a short period of time. The third option is to create a Sway using an existing document and let Sway create the project for you. From the Sway homepage, select Start from a document and select the document you wish to convert into a Sway. This can be used with Word, PowerPoint or PDF documents. You can see that Sway takes the content from the document and places it into the project. Now you can edit the content and include other elements such as embedding videos. The fourth option is to create a Sway using a template. Microsoft Sway has pre-made templates which you can choose from and then edit to your needs. A bonus method of helping to create a Sway is available if you have Microsoft Office 365 subscription for education. On the home page of Sway, there are a selection of pre-made Sway projects from educators which can be used for ideas. These Sways are not editable, but they will help show you the different ways to present content. Click on one of these to enhance your teaching and learning further and subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.